Hey there, this is Heather with TwoBlooms.com and in this Lightroom tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to take an image and really make it pop with lots of light and an airy but vibrant look. So this is the image that we're going to be using. This is the after and we're going to be using a copy of the original. So the this kind of edit is great for lifestyle photography, uh, photography for your blog, or if you just really love a lot of light in your photos. So let's get started. I'm gonna keep this really simple. So we're gonna jump down to the tone curve and we're gonna be making mostly tone curve adjustments. So we wanna add more light to the midtones and really make this pop. So I'm going to click on my tone curve. I'm in the linear point curve and RGB channel. So I'm gonna add a point in the middle and I'm just gonna bring it up with my mouse. You can see how it's just adding more light to the midtones and it's really just making it more airy. Now I wanna keep the shadows and I wanna have some blacks in this so I'm gonna add a little point down here and just bring down my blacks a little bit. And you can see how it's starting to get a little um, I guess a little muddy, really dark in this area. So I am gonna br make another point and bring up the midtones closer to the blacks as well. So now we're getting somewhere. So you can see before and after just by adding a couple of points, we've really um, make this photo pop with more whites and keeping the midtones, but um, just making them look more clean and polished. I am gonna add one more point up here just so we have even more whites. So this is perfect. My flowers look great. There's lots of color. You can still see shadows and the whites and nothing's too blown out with my uh, flowers here. So that's looking great. Now the point is to blow out this background. We want it to look really airy and bright and fresh. So this is um, the best way to do it in Lightroom. And just to polish it off, I'm gonna add a little bit of blacks in the basic panel up here and just make my wa whites pop a little bit. And then you can come down here and create or add a little bit of vibrance for the flowers. So that's looking perfect right now. Um, you can see before and after just a few adjustments. What can they do? And I did want to share with you a fun little freebie today. I've been working on some personal presets for this kind of look. I'm going to come over here and just show you what it can do and just a one click and you're done. Fire, it's called a fiery preset. And it looks a little different from our edit. Um, and you can go ahead and come in here and adjust it the way that you like, depending on the image that you're using. So I will include a link to this preset below this video. That way you can download it for free. So make sure you click that link. And don't forget to follow us here on YouTube uh, for future Lightroom tutorial updates. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you guys again real soon. Bye.